Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2020 Mosaic Football 20 Box Blaster Break. Pick your team number 17. We are giving away the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, so, how to be entered in the Bengals giveaway. Buy two or more teams in the break, get entered to win, no max entries. Buy two teams, get one entry. Buy four teams, get two entries. Buy six teams, get three entries. So on and so forth. So, we're going to go to the break. Here are the customers. We're going to sort this by alphabetically. And every two spots gets you one entry. So, Brian, you got one. Eric, you got one. Uh, Greg, you get one. Jeremy, one. Mark, you get one. Mike gets one. Nick gets two. Oliver gets you one. Rory, you got one. Ryan also gets one. Sean gets one. And Tamar gets one and Tyler gets one so all said and done 14 entries into the randomizer name on top after one and a five six times one two three four five and sixth and final time, congratulations to Brian. You got yourself the Bengals. Now, we just need to get you some Bengals to go with it. There you go. So now it's just time to rip. If this is going to print. There you go. And then uh, no veteran comments shipping this, guys, as is common. But there's the break. Here are all the boxes. I'm going to just be over here for a minute breaking these open so that we can get... You can see over here... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. They're all loose boxes as they came to us, as it says in the break description as well. But the first 20 we did from this were really nice. So... So if you're watching this video on replay, if this video ends up going over 45 minutes, there'll be a recap. So you can click the little link down in the bottom. If the, re if the video is under 45 minutes, there's not gonna be a recap. So you're stuck watching. But hopefully you get a lot of good hits to entertain yourself while you watch. But depending on how long it takes me to rip them all and go through them, we'll see. But while, uh, while we're all here, before we start going through stuff, 
Take this time to go get your spot in that box war filler, guys. Giving away $1,000 in break credit. first 20 blasters that we did from these loose boxes I'm pretty impressive how you doing Vic? The first one, I don't even know how many autos we hit, but we hit quite a few autos. We hit one Genesis, three fluorescent oranges. I don't think I had pulled any of those up until that last break. At least I don't remember. There was a, yeah, that's what I'm saying, Brian. There was at least four autos. There was a Levis there was a couple rookie autos. There was LaVisca Chenault Jr. I feel like we hit an AJ Dillon auto, right? Who are the two dead guys? Russ Grimm's not dead, Brian. YA Tittle's dead. We hit KJ Hamler. Did, did we hit a Dillon auto? We hit KJ Hamler rookie auto. Is Russ Grimm dead? I know YA Tittle's dead. We hit a surprising amount of, of, of autos, so. though. No, no, I don't I don't think Russ Graham is dead. I'm almost positive he's not.
Any Redskins fans in the chat can confirm? Russ Grimm is still among us. No, but Y.A. Tittle, he died, like, I want to say, like, either 2008 or 2012 or something like that. So it's always weird, you know, pulling a Y.A. Tittle auto. What's not PC? Among Us? Or saying the guy's name? Uh, no, Bogey. Stained glass or only in the hobby box? Not even, not, not in uh, No Huddle, not in Choice. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty sure Russ Grimm is still... Oh, yeah, you're right. ASMR, you're 100% right. Washington football team. The other, that, that other word doesn't exist anymore. continues in these next 20. Like I said, these are all, they were all delivered to us loose, so. The journey that these boxes have been on is unknown to us. But they're here for us and for you. And some of these packs are terrible. They just shred. Aaron Rodgers would be really cool. I mean, I'd like to rather see a, uh, what's it called? I'd like to, I mean, Bogey, I'd like to get you a Jordan Love auto. It's a rookie auto of their future at quarterback. Aaron Rodgers might not want that, but it's their future. could. You could. Twenty twenty three, Jay? I think does anybody know how much longer does Aaron Rodgers have on his contract? Can anybody look that up while I'm, while I'm ripping these packs? And I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen. Because I've already told people. So he's signed until 2023. So we're currently in 2020. So we've got they've got him under control for three more years, right? Football doesn't really have no trade clauses, right? Like football is like the least protected of all the sports. So here's my thoughts on Aaron Rodgers. Let's be honest. Sorry to Packers fans, but the Packers aren't an elite team. Um, as is. They don't have weapons for Aaron Rodgers, so what is he doing? Right? Um, I think they let Jordan Love developed behind Aaron Rodgers for this year. And this offseason, they trade.
I think they trade him this year in the offseason. Let Jordan Love take over. Use the money that they're saving to go get Jordan Love some weapons. And voila. Now you've maybe got yourself a contender. Because as it is right now, I mean... But, but the, the difference is, Gilbert, think about where Garoppolo was drafted and where Jordan Love was drafted. So I understand your, your, you know, your thought process on that. But they wouldn't have drafted Jordan Love as high as they did with that idea. Aaron Rodgers is the man, but he's also making a ton of money. And as we've seen recently with teams that compete in for uh, for titles, it's usually on with a quarterback that's on a rookie contract, right? I'm sure somebody will, Brad. The, the Bears are paying Nick Foles how much? So, I understand the Jimmy Garoppolo thing as far as Jordan Love, but the Packers wouldn't have drafted Jordan Love as high as they did with that idea at all. So, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to trade Aaron Rodgers for a considerable considerable haul and then be able to use the rest of that money as well. He's been very healthy. That's what I'm saying. He's still very contributing. Oh, of course, Gilbert. I mean, listen, I'll, I'll be honest, Gilbert. That's the worst. As a Chargers fan, it's terrible. It is awful to see Phillip Rivers in a jersey other than a Chargers jersey. But I'd be lying if I told you right now, as sad as I am to not have Phillip Rivers playing as a Charger right now, I'd be lying to, to say if, uh, if I to didn't tell you that I'm extremely happy to see Justin Herbert and what he's doing. Like, and that's that's all honesty, man. I did not want the Chargers to to get rid of Aaron. I mean, to not let, you know, Phillip Rivers continue playing. Yet, here we are. But that's the thing, Jay. If he's a top three MVP candidate, and they're still not competing for a title, what else, what are you doing? Why are you paying him? He doesn't have any targets. I like AJ Dillon. I like AJ Dillon a lot. I'll, I'll be honest. I like him a little bit. I like him more than uh, Jonathan Taylor. Specifically because he had less work on his legs, less yards on his uh, tires than Jonathan Taylor did. plenty of money to retire. He doesn't want to retire, though. Jay, they are 4-0 right now. But where have they ended up the last couple years in the playoffs? Right? Like, I don't... The pa I mean, Aaron Rodgers was upset they didn't get a wide receiver in the first round. But out of all the wide receivers that were there... He does. He has, I think he has nine kids now, right? Almost, uh... So I don't think the changes that the Packers have made 
are enough for them to all of a sudden get better this year. Okay, guys, I've opened 15 boxes. I'm going to take these last five and I'm going to put up on the uh, screen up here. I'm going to open those right now. And those are the first ones we're going to go through. But at the same point, like like Jay was saying, Aaron Rodgers might be top three MVP candidate. So why not get your most out of him now? Gilbert, Equinamius St. Brown. Love that guy. His his brother Amon Ra at USC. Incredible. They went to a modern day high school in Santa Ana, Gilbert. I may have gone there as well at some point. Uh, for this, Jay, this was pick your team. So it all depends on the teams. Yeah, Equinemius, Amon Ra, and the other brothers at Stanford right now. I forget his name. And their dad, Brian, is ex Mr. Universe. He's an absolute freak of nature. And their mom is even more athletic. She's a she's like a pro tennis player or volleyball player or something like that. And she's German, so they know like they're fluent in German as well. That's a that's a family of just freak athletes. I forget who the oh, the middle brother is. Cause Equinemius was the oldest, he went to Notre Dame. Amon Ra is the youngest, he's at SC. I forget who the middle one is, what his name is, but he went to Modern Day also for the last couple, like uh, for the last year of his career. I mean, I think the dad's name is John Brown. If I believe, if I remember correct, if you look him up, like you can see pictures of him. Look up John Brown, Mr. Olympia, or something like that, or Mr. Universe. I forget which one he was crowned. Dude's an absolute monster. But it also makes sense as far as why his sons, as wide receivers, are as physical as they are. It sucks. Uh, Equinemius is out again this year, right? Who mentioned that up on top? Uh, Gilbert, is, is Equinemius out again this year? Oh, yeah, Osiris is the middle brother. That's right. He's at Stanford. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Osiris. Um, I hope so, Brian. We, we'll get, and I mean, as Joe and everybody's mentioned before, we'll get anything available to us as long as it makes sense. So we try to get as much of this stuff as possible, but obviously as it becomes rarer and rarer and harder to get, obviously the prices go up, right? And it only makes sense for us to buy it at a certain price to make it worth it for you guys as well. So he's back from IR this week. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's pretty dynamic. But outside of fans like you, Gilbert, like Packers fans, and people that know him from like his family in high school and stuff like that, and his college, like a lot of people, if you said Equinemia St. Brown, they wouldn't be too excited about their opportunity options for the Packers, you know? But I think what the Packers benefit from too is also having one. Don't like. I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong, Gilbert, but I feel like they have a really good offensive line, don't they? Wouldn't that be a great thing to have a rookie quarterback behind?
cool last box and then we get to go through all the goodies I mean, I don't think they should, but they probably will, Jay. Like, just because of the fact of you know that you know that the Jets are going to have a new court, a new uh, coach this year. There's not a chance they're not. What happens to the IG draft? The hit draft? Very nice stuff, I think, Brian. I know six of the cards that were in there, but. I know Joey popped in here earlier and said something about he uh, he got a Hank Aaron one of one plate auto on plate auto, which is pretty cool. Good luck, everyone. Jalen Hurts going to the Eagles. I gotta get my sheet up. I mean, Darnold was good at SC. Unfortunately, SC's had a string of really good quarterbacks that don't, unfortunately, do a lot in the pros. I think Darnold breaks that mold, but at the same point, obviously, he's playing for the Jets right now. Eagles, D. Almeida. So it doesn't really do him very much good. Lamar Jackson for the Ravens and Eric. Jonathan Taylor, NFL debut, green for the Colts, and Sean Maddock. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, NFL debut, going to the Chiefs, Gregory. Tom Brady, MVPs for the Patriots, Oliver. We got an auto, our first auto. Scripps auto, Rashawn Evans. For the Tennessee Titans, Tyler Buckwell. And right behind that, Tua Tagovailoa. Green for the Dolphins and Brian Lee. There you go, Brian. Chase Claypool, NFL debut for the Steelers, and Mike. Another reason why I think uh, it'd be a good idea for the Packers to trade away Aaron Rodgers now, even though he's still at his peak, maybe. Um, Chase Claypool, NFL debut, Steelers, Mike. Did anybody predict that Drew Brees would take the drop that he had from last year to this year? I don't think anybody would have predicted that, right? So what if that happens to Rodgers? Wouldn't you rather get something for him now than live through that and potentially have to trade him at a loss or at a for a lower value later on if that happens to him if and when that happens to him Jalen Hurts going to the Eagles and D Almeida Clyde Edwards Hilaire, NFL debut for the Chiefs and Greg. Jerry Judy, Green, going to the Broncos and Rory. Brady MVPs for the Patriots and Oliver. Joe Burrow, base. 
for the Bengals and Brian, the spot he won for having at least two or more teams. Uh, ben, I I think that the Bears have kind of already contributed or given too much to Nick Foles. You know what I mean? To really make a move like that. And I think as a as a Packers fans, I think well, that would probably be the worst thing for them to see. Like I, I feel like Bears fans would rather, or Packers fans would rather see him go anywhere else except for the Bears. Maybe the Vikings. I don't know which one. I, I feel like either one of those teams, they would absolutely just like despise seeing him in their jerseys. Yeah, exactly. Anybody remember when Favre went to the the Jets though and got in trouble for sending that that reporter pictures of Little Brett? <laughs> oh, Brett Favre! And somehow he still ended up being the the spokesperson for Levi. And for whatever else he's doing nowadays. This documentary is just awesome. Uh, I don't know about that, Tamar. I, w I wouldn't doubt it, though. 17 left in that box war, Brad? The filler? 36 bucks to possibly win 1,000. Anybody feel, a win feel like they're a winner? Tom Brady, got game, Buccaneers, Mike. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. D. Almeida. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, NFL debut for the Chiefs and Greg. Patrick Mahomes, will to win. Chiefs. Greg. Tom Brady, MVPs. Patriots, Oliver. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, base. We already saw one, Brian, uh, for the Chiefs, and Greg, Joe Burrow, NFL debut, going to the Bengals, Brian, Jalen Hurts, NFL debut, Eagles, D, Derek Brown Green going to the Panthers and Tamar. Patrick Mahomes, MVPs, Chiefs, Greg. Jordan Love for the Packers and Patrick. Uh, not yet, Gilbert. Hopefully we can get some more, but... We'll see. Just keep an eye out. Will to win, Lamar for the Ravens and Eric. Joe Burrow, Bengals, Brian. CeeDee Lamb, NFL debut, Silver Mosaic for the Cowboys. Brian. That's what I'm saying, Brad. Let's find a couple of those. Tua Tagovailoa, NFL debut, green. 
for the Dolphins and Brian. Chase Claypool, NFL debut for the Steelers and Mike. I don't know, Brian. Tua, NFL debut. Dolphins, Brian. Chase Claypool, NFL debut. Silver Mosaic, Steelers, Mike. Tua again for the Dolphins and Brian. DeAndre Swift, green for the Lions. Going to Eric. What happened with the Bills tonight? It was not a... Not, I don't think what anybody was expecting. That was that's the thing is I mean losing's one thing. But the way they lost was just ridiculous. But I will still stick to the fact that I feel like that game shouldn't have even been played. I feel like the Titans should have been forced to forfeit. So That's what I'm saying, Brad. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Titans should have been forced to forfeit. As should the, uh, the, what's his names? The Patriots. Chase Young, green for Washington and Ryan. Jalen Hurts, NFL debut for the Eagles. D. Almeida, NFL debut. Chase Claypool, Silver Mosaic for the Steelers. And Mike. Patrick Mahomes, MVPs for the Chiefs. And Greg. That's what they say, Ben. But they also had that practice. That was not approved where they were prolonging the problem. Patrick Mahomes Silver. Very nice. For the Chiefs. Going to Greg. Patrick Mahomes will win. Chiefs, Greg. Jalen Hurts base again for the Eagles and D. Jalen Hurts NFL debut green for the Eagles and D. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Jalen Regor, Mosaic Silver for the Eagles D. Tua NFL debut again for the Dolphins and Brian. Patrick Queen Green for the Ravens and Eric. Tua Base for the Dolphins and Brian. Cool, five more boxes, guys. Good luck. Lavisca Chenault Jr., rookie, silver, going to the Jaguars, and Mark. Cole Komet, green, going to the Bears, and Jeremy. Got an auto, maybe? Or what is this? Why is it turned backwards? I don't know why that was turned backwards. I was hoping it was something. Even a parallel of some sort, but it's Jordan Love. For the Packers and Patrick. Bogey. I was hoping it was an auto. It wasn't, Brian. I don't think it's a variation either, unfortunately. That was a tease. Now they owe us one. All because they turned that one card around. Herbert, NFL debut. Uh, Chargers going to Nick and rookie Scripps Auto. Lynn Bowden Jr. for the Raiders and Sean. Chase Young, green for Washington and Ryan. We got an auto, Blake Martinez for the Giants, Nick Stober, LaVisca Chenault Jr. Green for the Jaguars, and Mark. NFL debut, Hurts. And the Eagles, D. Lamar Jackson, MVPs, Ravens. Jordan Love, NFL debut. Going to bogey. Last spot, Mojo. Jalen Ragor, NFL debut, green for the Eagles and D. And last box. Darrington Evans, green for the Titans, Tyler. That's the break, guys. Only a couple Herberts thought in there. Couple, quite a few Burrows. Lots of Tua. But 
That was 2020 Mosaic Football 20 Box Blaster Break. Pick your team number 17. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time.